panelist is uh, Mr. Rahul Gabawala. Hello, are you able to see my screen? Yes, uh, we can see your screen. Uh, is it AI for, uh, yes. We can see your screen. You can start now, yes, Rahulji. Okay. Hello, I'm CA Rahul Gabawala, and it's my honor to present my use case for AI Hackathon. My case for today is use of AI for Chrome automation through Microsoft Excel. So without further ado, let's jump in. Chrome can be automated using Selenium and VBA, which is a backend of Excel. So for th that automation, we require a few things. First, we need a Microsoft Excel, which generally every CA has. Second, we need a Chrome. Third, we need a Selenium wrapper. Selenium wrapper is a software which actually links Chrome to Microsoft Excel. Once that Selenium wrapper is installed, then you can go to a uh, Microsoft Excel, go to tools, references, and add Selenium wrapper as a reference. Then you can start coding through chat GPT. To, to start an automation, what one has to do, one has to go to a web page that one wants to automate. Save that web page as an HTML page in your system. Go to a chat GPT, use a prompt that can you draft a VBA code with Selenium? to automate a Chrome page. So, uh, chat GPT will say, yes, it is able to do so. Then I have, as a sample, what I've done is I have in this chat GPT, I have uploaded a login page of e-filing website. I have told the chat GPT to open this page, enter the PAN number as so-and-so and click continue. So it automatically writes a VBA code. Just copy this VBA code, go to a Microsoft Excel and start doing things. So this is a something basic structure that what, what chat GPT can help you automate Chrome. So what is the next level one can do? So I want to show something that I've done in my office. So uh, use case of simple problem. One sometimes one faces while depositing advanced tags. So when you are calling clients for an advanced tag that you have to deposit advanced tag, generally what the client says that please tell me the details of advanced tag that has already been deposited. So what a general CA will do, it will go to a e-filing website, go to AIS, see on the report section, how many chalans have been deposited and then co coordinate to the client. What we do in our offices, we can automatically click here. It will go to the income tax website line by line and automatically download AIS for you to analyze and tell to the clients. So there is no manual intervention. The manual intervention is just one thing that is you have to write CAPTCHA code to it. Just a second, it is doing its things. It will go to the website. It will do everything it has done automatically. It will go to the AIS portal. Click proceed. Everything has been done through Selenium using VBA code. This we have to write. It will download this, take to its backend, change the financial year again, then again press. I have designed this to download for three years so that we can easily communicate to a client. So, so for one client, we have done it. So for one client, we have done it. I'm going to download it. See how we try to do it. So for this client, we did it. We have downloaded AIS. It automatically says how much amount of TDS has been directed in assessment at 23, 24, 24, 25, 25, 26, how much advanced tax has already been deposited. Suppose the client says, I want to deposit some more advanced tax. We'll just click here and automatically go to the e-filing portal and create a challenge for that. So what we are trying to do in our office is trying to reduce the time that a person, a CA uses, and that can be delegated to its own staff without any error. So now the basic function is for the assessment here, Amount also, everything will be done automatically without any manual intervention. So the uh, issue of any human mistake, clerical error just goes away. Everything is done by the Selenium itself. 
तो सपोज द क्लाइंट वॉन्स ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड चला वी कैन गो देर एंड वी कैन ऑटोमेटिकली सेंड एंड गिफ्ट टू द क्लाइंट This is the simple basic thing we have done for an advanced tax. Suppose we we can also scrap the website. What scrapping means? Ah, uh, it can download. Suppose I want to download income tax return for four years for this person. It can automatically go to the website, download income tax acknowledgement, download orders for you to save in your own system. So earlier, what happened in our office is once a return has been filed, an acknowledgement will be printed out, put in the file. Then when an order comes, it will be printed out and put in the file. so what i have done in my office is now this has been everything has been digitalized and now it can easily be viewed through a system and everything will be saved in the system itself so it will go to the e file income tax return view file forms it will scrap everything it it will download income tax return it will download uh json file it will download even if there is order also it will download it and keep it itself inside its database so anyone if you want to view anyone can easily view that This is something that I built for my own office, so as to increase the efficiency. So I have asked it to download just four years, so it will download four years and will close itself. so once it has automatically been downloaded so if you want to see all the returns are there for one to give a print out and it is easy for us to maintain whether there is a demand or not anything it can be easily done with the help of a vba so my task is uh, with the help of a chrome, chrome every office has a chrome every office has microsoft excel so with the help of a selenium and with the help of chat gpt one can easily learn how to code and once you start learning how to code it can easily be used to transform your office into a digital thing everything will be saved on a computer and everything can be done as efficiently as pos possible uh you can do more other things suppose if you if a person wants an advanced tax to be deposited by you itself a person can if you want to view an ais of a person you can just click ais and every detail will be here only anything that you want to do it can be easily done with the help of a vba so a person has a basic knowledge it can easily convert this utility and use it in the office to increase the efficiency so this was my small presentation if you want to have any query if you have any question kedar ji if you can ask a uh, great job fantastic uh, work rahul ji uh, you have did uh, your presentation well in time uh, so just one quick question yes, um, Uh, how the passwords uh, are uh, shared so uh password it has a backend database uh, it has okay. been encrypted and saved in the backend so if mm -hmm. i just open the password you won't be able to see when the software opens that password it decrypts it and then puts in uh, and then tries to log in it so right Does now this... also you won't be able to see the password mm -hmm. this, this is something can... that it has in backend in the backend software also when it is being saved it is saved as an encrypted file so this even if somebody you copies have, it uh... the uh, this utility you have developed using uh, just vba just, just VBA, vba microsoft vba and nothing else okay so uh, you have uh, coded these uh, from uh, chat gpt or ai tools i started you... with chat gpt and mm -hmm. slowly and slowly i start to develop my own Okay. Okay. But the basic structure, how to start developing, was from Chat GPT. So my mm -hmm. uh, request to all the participants, if you want to do some things just like that, we can start with Chat GPT. Slowly and slowly, we'll start learning. Once we start, when we learn some steps uh, through Chat GPT, we can easily develop on our own. Okay. Great job, uh, Mr. Rahul. Uh, I have you. seen your uh, presentation. Yes. Ah, uh, any further query uh, if you want to ask? Anyone, okay. any participant wish to ask anything? We have time. One minute left from uh, Mr. Rahul. All right, no worries. Thank you. Ah, uh, just let me have. Ah, uh, uh, there is one query. Selenium software is uh, easily available, uh, freely available or not? Yeah, it's freely. It is freely available. It is Apache two point zero because that means it is freely available. It can be used. It is 
available on the internet. Apache 2.0, it means it, it can be used without any copyright. Okay. Okay, one more question is there. It is legal to scrape the data using program it like is, uh, this. We are not scraping the website. We're actually trying to save the data. We have, we could have done without AI. We could have just clicked everything and we have taken a printout, saved something. We are trying to eliminate the manual intervention in this. So it's not, we can, it is not actual scraping. It's actually saving the data, which we, right, there, are, the, there are a lot of, lot of questions. Yes, sir. Can you pay uh, multiple TDS challenge? Yes, it can. Do. Okay. Can uh, we use same on GST login? Yeah, it's, it can be done. Can be done. If I get selected in the next time, I will, I was thinking of doing GST. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, uh, Mr. Rahul, next part is AVSR Kushwant. Uh, sir, Kedar, sir. Yeah. Can we invite CA Naman Dokhani again, please? Who was the second participant? He's ready. Uh, okay. Uh, if you can go ahead with uh, AVSR Kushwant and then Naman, is it okay? After this presentation. Yeah, fine.